While making repairs to the temple in Jerusalem in the 7th century BC, workers discovered a copy of a book called the Book of the Law. Shortly after this, King Josiah initiated a series of reforms based on what was in the book. Most scholars now agree that the book the king was so concerned about was the Book of Deuteronomy. Since Lehi lived shortly after this time, and because Deuteronomy was so important in Jerusalem, it makes sense to assume that it would have been important to the writers of the Book of Mormon as well. One way in which Deuteronomy influenced the Book of Mormon is how the Book of Mormon uses a large number of short phrases from Deuteronomy. At least 52 different phrases from Deuteronomy appear throughout the Book of Mormon. Furthermore, one scholar has noted more than 200 scriptural passages in the Book of Mormon that reflect similarities between Nephite laws and the laws of Deuteronomy. Because the Book of Mormon begins in Jerusalem in 600 BC, and because Deuteronomy was an important text in Jerusalem during that time, the use of Deuteronomy in the Book of Mormon is a subtle indication of its authenticity. The numerous relationships between the two books also show us how the Nephites incorporated some of the timeless truths of Deuteronomy into their lives, teaching us how we can do the same. And now you know why.